During this video, you'll learn what environmental aspects are, how to complete an environmental program, how to handle and record correspondence relating to environmental activities, and how to correctly record applicable environmental legislation and regulations. So, to begin, let's look at environmental aspects. What are they? An environmental aspect is an element of an organization's activities, products or services that has or may have an impact on the environment. OK, now let's look at how you record an environmental aspect. Here is a template you can use. The environmental aspect identified in this example is the general awareness of environmental matters. Using this aspect, we can define an object for you, which is to enhance environmental awareness within the company's sphere of influence. The method statement should then explain how you are going to achieve the objective. The target is, therefore, to implement the method statement. This means that the program is then the time frame in which you believe you can achieve each of the items on your method statement. While this is a fairly basic form, its purpose is crucial from an ISO 14001 perspective because it provides a means for recording information against your environmental aspects. Now that the environmental aspects are all identified, it is time to complete your environmental programme. This is your plan, often written, that defines the who, what, when, where and how for the plan to achieve the objective and target set. You can have one plan for each objective and target or one plan for everything. The plan is intended to define the path you would take to achieve your results. Typically, the environmental programme is completed each year on the certification anniversary date. But it can take place at any time of the year, providing it is completed as a minimum every 12 months. It is often a misconception that you are required to deal with all the aspects simultaneously. The standard requires you to only deal with as many environmental aspects as you are able within the resource limitation of the current year. Here is an example environmental program. In this scenario, the company has decided to deal with all the environmental aspects in the same year. However, you may have decided to only deal with eight due to resource limitations. As you can see, there are columns for significance and priority. The significance is the significance of that aspect to the organisation itself. The priority is the speed in which you will deal with it. You might expect them to be the same, but this is not always true due to the prioritisation of quick wins. The planned assessment date is the date in which you plan to reassess the programme again. Now let's look at environmental correspondence. Here is a template you can use. The ISO 14001 standard requires you to record any environmental correspondence received by your organisation as well as your response. As you can see on this form, it is important that you record the person the correspondence was passed to, the date it was sent, who it was from, what it was about and what the response was, as well as any further action required. It is commonly found during external audits that businesses fail to record environmental correspondence, so it is essential a record is kept if you wish to prevent a non-conformity. Finally, we are going to address legislative and regulatory requirements. Here is an example, legal and regulatory schedule. The environmental aspects of an organisation can often be governed by environmental legislation, such as waste disposal and COSH. That is why we recommend you draw up a schedule which is reviewed once a year as a minimum. To keep a record of what items of legislation or regulation apply to your business. You should be making sure that the requirements of applicable regulations and legislation have been interpreted throughout your business in the correct way 
and you respond to them accordingly. We hope you found this video useful. If you require further information, please email inquiries at qmsuk.com or call 0333 344 3646.